What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrano 1, your host here, and welcome to my walkthrough for Resident Evil 3 Remake Demo. This is going to be an immersive walkthrough, so if you want to see my commentated Let's Play, uh, I have that on the channel as well. You can check out that video where we actually go through it for the first time and show you where everything is and get scared and, and have lots of fun. This is going to be more immersive. There's going to be no commentary, and I'm going to be moving as if I am really Jill. I'm going to be going slow. I'm going to be... Um, Exploring, obviously, I'm going to show you where pretty much everything is in the demo a little bit. Not everything. I know where everything is, but I'm not... My purpose is not to show you where everything is. My purpose is to really make it feel like you're in this situation. Like, this is you playing and that you're immersed and try to make it as fun as possible. But at the same time, scary and creepy and just bring chills down your spine. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm going to stop the commentary here. Again, I will be back with commentary at the end of the video. So hopefully you enjoy this immersive look at Resident Evil 3 Remake. Let's go time. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? This city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast.
get that train moving. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you.
This must be the subway company's offices. Huh. Nothing. Thank you. 
There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I tried to make that as immersive as I can. Obviously, you can complete this so much faster. My actual speedrun time is about three minutes so far. Um, if you guys want to see a speedrun of this, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I took my time here, showed you a little bit. I didn't give away the location for the um, safe because I didn't want to. Um, not yet, but I showed you pretty much every area that you can actually go into. And I tried to do it in a way that felt something of what Jill Valentine would actually do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that more immersive, slower uh, type of, of thing. Now, obviously, I knew that the Nemesis was coming, so therefore I knew how to get around him. Um, and as you can see, when you go through, when you first see him, if you go to the left, you can actually kind of escape him that way. Or you can go up the stairs, but if you go up the stairs uh, instead of going to the left like I did... It's a lot tougher because he blocks you. So again, play the the game the way that you want to play, but it is very, very, it's going to be really tough because as you can see, he's got a lot of really cool maneuvers that he can do and he can grab you from far away. He can jump and get in front of you all of a sudden. You've got that dodge move. Now, I didn't really show it off um, that much, but if you time it right, you can dodge with just enough time to actually be able to slow down time a little bit and then you can uh, get a few shots in there uh, as well. But it's very difficult to pull off. It's it's not something that you can do every single time because even when you expect an enemy to start hitting you, it's so difficult to pull off that timing in the right thing, which I think is great. I don't think it should be easy. I think it should be hard to pull off every single time. And I think I, I love the way that they've done it so far. As you can see, there is a total of 20 dolls in this area that uh, there's still 15 left. Uh, I got some on my live stream and then I got a few more today uh, during this video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this style of gameplay. Uh, it's been my pleasure to bring it to you. Although during the walkthrough that I actually do for the game, it will be commentary to show you exactly where you need to go and to explain how to get around bosses and other stuff like that. But I wanted to immerse you just like I did with the one shot demo a few years back. Um, or should I say last year when we did the one shot demo as I did that immersive as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. There is a cinema that plays at the very end. Enjoy. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Peace. Sorry. Look out! Let's do this. 